Hi, I'm Sterling, I'm going to be talking about um, the opening sequence to Silence of the Lambs, which is another psychological thriller which links in with the genre which I'm going to be doing in due course um, after my research. First of all, I'm going to be talking about the Mise en Scene. Uh, the Mise en Scene is pretty plain, it's just a bold black and white front. It's got um, a white inside and then a black outline, um, which is quite plain. Um, this could symbolise maybe isolation, the fact that it's got it goes all the way around. Um, which links in with the mountain sun, which is the forest. Uh, the forest, you, the connotations of a forest could be isolation, and especially when there's a woman alone, uh, it's quite typical that she's in danger. But um, it gives a refreshing uh, appeal to the audience um, that she's um, athletic and that she looks like she can take care of herself. Um, the fact that she's wearing a V-neck top could probably insinuate that she could be innocent, like virginity, like beef and virginity, um, which links in with the fact that she's alone and she's isolated. Um, yeah, but like I said, it shows, it gives a refreshing, like, stereotype. It gets rid of the stereotype by showing strength and skill by doing this athletic course and, like, working for the army. While she's running as well, you can also see fog, which is pathetic fallacy, because that also... Um, symbolises that she's alone and no one can really help her. Um, the black and white of the font, going back to that, um, it shows good and bad, the good and bad side. Um, black could be bad, white could be good, uh, typically. And um, the pace and the pace of the start, the, the pace of the editing, um, I'll talk about in the next bit. And the pace of the editing. Um, there isn't quite, a, there isn't a lot of editing. It's just uh, the length of the cuts and. Um, the way that the titles come in. Uh, the way that the titles come in, uh, they come in quite a staccato rhythm um, to show like a blunt tone um, by just coming in. They come in at random times, like can suddenly appear and stuff, which um, could make the audience not feel comfortable because they don't know, they don't have an even rhythm. Like anything can jump out at any time, such as when she's in the forest and stuff. Because um, it's quite blunt and there's no like fading and stuff, it's also quite jolty and jerky, um, which we know that um, the character, the, the bad guy in this film, um, Hannibal Lecter, you know that he's like evil and he's not right in the head, which links in with the fact that it's a psychological thriller. Um, also, the length of the cuts. The fact that there aren't a lot of um, cuts, uh, only like match and action cuts when she's actually doing work, um, this shows that uh, there's not a lot of um, other things to be shown, it's just her alone. So there isn't, so that she's alone, that's why there's the length of the cuts, because there's nothing else to show, to show that she has no one else around her. The cinematography isn't exactly outstanding within this. Uh, first of all, we see an establishing shot of the forest. Uh, the forest con connotates um, the, and amplifies the tone of isolation to show that the woman is alone. Uh, then you see an extreme close-up of her face um, to show uh, determination while she's doing the assault course. Next, you can see a dolly shot like someone's following her. This can make um, it scarier for the audience. Apart from that, we see like match on action shots of her working what before she runs into the army centre.